Do you want to develop your outdoor role play area for your children? Well today we're going to be creating a teepee and I'm going to show you how it's done. If you have young children or you're a member of early years foundation stage teaching staff and you're looking for inspiring ways to engage your children in outdoor learning and play then look no further. In this video I'm going to show you how to create a teepee efficiently and effectively for outdoor learning. I'll talk you through what materials you're going to need and I'm going to show you some top tips on construction. My name is Oliver Wotherspoon from Cool Canvas. We design, manufacture and install natural bespoke play areas for children and adults of all ages. We want to show you some top tips on how you can do it yourself. I feel the process of creating the resource with the children is as much fun as playing with it afterwards. I'd like you, the viewer, to have a go and let me know the aspect which the children enjoyed the most and leave your comment in the section below please click like and subscribe for more videos just like this. Okay, so here's a list of materials that you're gonna need. I'll take you through it one stage at a time. We've got here, we've got our long poles here. These are gonna be our uprights for the TP. The size depends on what size the children who you're making it for. I'm gonna make it for my little girl, and she's about this tall, so these should be fine. We've also got the braces that are gonna go across the bottom of the TP and hold it sturdy, again, it all depends on what size TP you're going to make. These are about 80 centimetres, 800 millimetres long. If you want to go down the route of something really natural like this and using um, tree poles, then you could speak, if you see a local tree surgeon doing some work near you, you could always kind of ask them kindly if you could maybe pinch some of their poles or um, something that's a bit more readily available, you could use fencing poles from your local um, timber merchant. If you want to know more about the materials then check it out in the description box below I'm gonna leave everything you need to know in there. So this is a bit of a freestyle project it's more fun if you're doing it with the children uh, so I'm just gonna show you a couple more bits of materials that you might need so rope is great because you can accessorize with it and when we're making our TP you can tie the bits of wood together if you want to the children can practice their knots. Um, another option is if you want to make it a bit more permanent and you have access to power tools is you could screw the sections together or sometimes just as effectively if you want to something you can put up and kind of take down at the end of your session you could use some sort of industrial zip ties like these these are really strong make the job dead easy and yeah great so here's some of the tools that are put together that we might need you can make this as complicated or as simple as you like um, so hand saw okay it's always good a knife for cutting your rope um, a screwdriver, an impact driver for uh, firing some screws through your timber poles to fasten them together if you're going to go down that route. A hammer is always handy to have um, and also just for a bit of safety and things if you are cutting these poles with the children it's always good just to have a little clamp you know just to clamp it to the table to stop it spinning around that way the children can get a real good purchase over the saw. Uh, with that in mind don't forget your PPE gear okay Glasses especially, not so much your headphones, but yeah, glasses definitely. Okay, let's get to it. What I've got is I've got two of the long poles here. Now these are roughly about mm, just under two meters long. And then a shorter pole, which I mentioned before, is about 800 millimeters long, roughly. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna start to form a triangle section like this. So just cross it over at the top there, okay. And then the next process will be fastening this end here. We're then going to lay this, our brace, across the bottom, like that. Let's say about 500 millimetres from the ground upwards. This will also help the children when it comes to sort of den making, throwing material over it, it'll keep it sturdy. Um, so yeah, we're going to fire some screws through here as well and fasten that in position. Okay, so now I'm going to grab my screwdriver and some screws and we're going to start fastening this A-frame together. So I'm using 100mm screws here, again nothing too complicated, just firing it through, it's just all rough and ready. Okay, so that's one A-frame there, good to go. Now what I'm going to do, again there's, just, there's no like science to this or anything, I'm not pre-drilling the timber or anything, as I said it's just rough and ready, it is green wood so as I'm firing these screws through it's not splitting. Um, I'm going to lay now my other frames over the top, so roughly they're about the same size. Same process, screw them together and take it from there. Okay, so here we have it. We have our three frames assembled. For the purpose of the video, I've used a screwdriver just to make it a bit sturdier, but if you don't happen to have access to a screwdriver and screws, you could use 
the industrial cable ties, like I mentioned before, just lay your posts over, your, over one another like that and then zip your tie around. And that should hold it relatively sturdy. Right, now the next stage is we're gonna assemble this, but rather than assemble it here in the workshop, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this home and I might even get the kids to help me get them involved and we're gonna to start to build it and let them have their input and see where it takes us. Okay, let's, uh, let's get it down and let's get it in the truck and let's go. We're back at HQ now, ready to have a go at installing the TP. So first things first, we've got it up here. We're now gonna try and stand it up and get it into a rough position. Let's give it a go. Quite big, quite heavy these. It's the most awkward bit. Try and interlink them the best you can. Also, work out which way you want the door facing. Right, yeah, I'm kind of happy with that. Okay, so next stage is putting on our door frame. So we'll put a little brace across here, wherever we feel happy. There'll be a nice little entrance to our TP area there. I'm thinking that looks pretty good. Lower down so they feel like they've got to crouch down and get into it, it makes it a bit more kind of magical. So again, for the purpose of the video, I'm just going to screw this on, but you could do it with a cable tie or some rope. Okay, so we're just going to screw the other side of this brace on and then we've got our door frame almost sorted. So now we've lent all our posts up against one another here. Uh, you could, if you wanted to, fire some screws through there just to really kind of secure it up. But um, just for our little girls party this afternoon, I'm just going to use some rope and we're going to tie this up around. I'm going to get some really nice tight knots around there. And then I'm going to tie it around these joints and these joints here and make it look as if it's all just been tied together, really ramshackled. It's going to look great. So this rope that I'm using is a natural hemp and just looks really nice against this kind of timber. You know, keep it all natural, keep it all, you know, it's looking good. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to tie up these braces here around there just to get a little bit of extra support but more really aesthetic. We've got the build to a stage now that I'm really pleased with. It's strong, it's sturdy, it's all tied together. The next stage is getting the children involved and Tams in to decorate the structure. So from here, let's let the chaos begin. <laughs> Hi, it's me again. I've just seen what Ollie's made before. What an amazing thing to have in the school and really simple to make as well. That'd be great, great opportunity. So what I thought is we're going to get my children and their friend in and they're going to decorate this. So let's see what their response is first of all. Kids, do you want to come and have a look? Wow. Yeah. Oh, so cool. This is really oh, good. Imagine so if you had one of these in your school. Oh, whoa. Yeah. I actually have a bag of goodies here. So there's pegs, material. Look, these ones here, look how long they are. No, pull it out. Let's see. Let's see how long it is. And these are real saris are absolutely amazing because you can get them um, like three for 20 pounds in a shop but look how much space you have and when the wind's blowing as well how beautiful and all the colors and the beauty of this is really most of the time you don't actually need to be there because the children are self-directed when it comes to dens they are the expert So these guys are getting on with it. There's been a few ups and downs, but they're getting there. And this is great for teamwork, people problem solving as well. Pegs are the most amazing thing that you can use for anything. I'm sure you're quite aware of that. Yeah, oh, we've got a thumbs up there. 
Another thing that you could actually do with this, which would be quite good, I just thought, is if you got blackout material and you could actually black it completely out and then inside could just become a sensory area using torches and lights and flashing lights. And if you could get a Bluetooth speaker, have some sound going on for underwater, outer space. But there's so many, again, opportunities here. Okay, if you like what you've seen today, please like and subscribe. The button's down here. We'd love to hear all your feedback. You can also check out our website on www.naturalplayareas.co.uk. We've also got Instagram and Twitter. Please share your ideas because as we've said before, this is what we thrive off because we're so passionate about it, but we love seeing that we've made a difference and love to see what you've done because I'm sure you'll come up with some other ideas that we could then follow on. So thanks again for watching. See you next time.